What's up guys, welcome back to the Dusty Fish Company. I am not in beautiful Pensacola, Florida today. We did leave Pensacola at like 5.30 this morning. It is uh, 10 a.m. now, 10.30 in the morning now. And if you can see these rigs behind me here, we're about 35, 40 miles off the coast of Louisiana. We made the run out of Pensacola Pass, four hours, four and a half hours straight over. And uh, we are about to get on some big game fish, y'all. That is the name of the game today. Uh, we did stop on the way out. And uh, probably about 30 miles ago, we came across a bunch of stuff blowing up on the surface. It ended up being thousands of sharks. That was pretty neat. We did pull that one in, tail hooked. He is bringing him in, right? Bringing him in backwards. That's no good. Look at that little Yeah, I saw that. Is that a cobia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we got out here, we got to the rigs. So the name of the game is Big Fish, Wahoo, Yellowfin Tuna, whatever we can get our hands on. We're gonna be out here 12 hours, bringing y'all along for the journey. I appreciate y'all liking the videos. I appreciate y'all smashing that subscribe button. I will see y'all at the first hookup. Let's catch some fish. So we've been trolling around for a little while. We haven't had any luck on the troll. There's these giant schools of blackfin busting the surface. We're pulling up on one right now. I got a popper I'm gonna toss right, out there see if I can get hooked up. One school of black fin. We're gonna take a couple shots at them, see what we can do. That's gonna work. That's gonna work. Hey, let me get him. Come on, what are you doing, Ryan? What are you waiting on? You should be the first one in with all that weight. All right. Come on. You rolled on it again. Hit it. That's on. Go. Show him, Oh, there he is. Got him that You're time. Double. Walk to your back. Go underneath that outrigger. Dust, go. Go. Go to the back. Oh. Mine's screaming back. I need you back. Dust, go underneath that outrigger line, babe. Coming your way. Oh, did I lose it? I lost it. No, you didn't. Yeah, it is. God, going, under, it. going under, I, lost, I gave him too much slack. Yellow. Got hooked up on that one, lost him going to the back of the boat. We are hooked up up here. I'm gonna get another cast in here in just a second. All right, guys, I wasn't recording, and we just hooked up. I uh, switched to a vertical jig and hooked up on a black tube. Don't horse him anymore. Let's go. Got color yet? Yeah. Yep. There he is. There he is. Yes, indeed. Black fin in the box, baby. Woo! Those things are fun, y'all. Those things are fun. We're looking to get into something a little bit bigger, but you can't go wrong with blackfin tuna, y'all. That was a blast. Like I said, those blackfin tuna are fun. Caught one at the end of last year when I was out on Captain Ryan's boat. You can see all these boats, everyone's jetting right now. They just saw something happening over here. Got tuna busting. Everyone's booking it that way. We're anywhere from 20 to 40 miles off the Louisiana coast right now. Uh, Venice is about 35 miles that direction. Good start to the day. We are gonna be out here all day. We're gonna be out here all night. Those, we've got two fish on ice right now. Got two black fins on ice right there. I'll show you mine here in a few minutes after he dispatches. That was just the beginning. I mean, look at the tuna jumping at the boat, guys. All right, we got one on the back, guys. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yep, I'm on it. Yeah. I'll get 
grab me a gap. Yeah, we're good at it. Here you go. I like that snow. It's got some weight to him. Yeah, he does. Come on, don't let him have none. But Doc, You're resting, hey, he's resting. Yeah. You give up and go smooth down. Like, remember, remember I told you, short stroking? There you go. Don't pull it up. There you go. Yeah, I think you saw the boat. That's, that's cool. Here, Ooh, take buddy. that starboard side, okay? The sport yeah. here fishes out the back. You buddy. sure you don't want that gut bucket? Oh, I'm good right now. Okay. Right hey, you see that head? Yeah, now it's going to get so worse whenever buddy. we get close to it. Because they would go the opposite way. It's been one of them days for sure. Yeah. Got another one. Oh. There we go. All right. Oh. Good job, Boy. brother. He whooped me, son. Whew. All right, guys. Yeah, the other bait's out. Thank you. Got my black fin in. He's right here. Back. I think it was big beauty right there. That's two black fin in the boat for me right there. That's what six in the boat now so far. Yeah. Yeah. We got six in the boat total. We are crushing the black fin while we're waiting for these yellows to show up. I'm gonna have to take a break. Dang. That was on the troll, y'all. Uh, we were up front, loaded up with the poppers and the uh, diamond jigs, and uh, got smacked on the troll there. Come running to the back and uh, pulled got that one in i thought he was way bigger honestly but i'm also an inshore guy so this <laughs> this stuff whooping me all right y'all we were pulling up to another school and we just hooked up again on the troll yeah thanks to those damn youtubers <laughs> that's the big thing is we are at the leader he's getting his fish up to the boat probably gonna be our seventh black fin of the day but we'll find out here in just a second Bit, but on a nine foot rod. Are you letting that Bonita whoop you? Yeah, I am. All right, guys, we are taking a little intermission here. As you can see behind me, the Gulf has started to lay down. It looks freaking amazing out here now. Um, it is three o'clock, three thirty in the afternoon right now. Uh, we've been going since five this morning. We got on the fishing spot. Well, we get out here around ten. Yeah. We got here about ten, so we've been fishing here for about five hours. Um, the fish, the fish you've seen in my video isn't everything we've caught. You do have to go check out Captain Ryan's channel, Badlands Charters and Outdoor. He's doing fishing yep. and hunting videos over there. So make sure you get over check those out. You can see some of the other catches from today on his channel as well. Uh, we've got a miner coming up here, coinciding or rolling just before sunset here in the next hour, hour and a half. And uh, we're kind of hoping that fires the bite back up. Just want to jump in and say that. We're going to keep trolling around. We've got two outriggers out, two uh, on the back, and then we've got, there's one in the middle too, huh? Yeah. yeah. So we've got five lines out trolling. Uh, we're keeping our eyes out for schools of tuna. One boat we just passed had a yellow fin on. so. That is the prize for the day, that or Wahoo. If we can get Yellowfin or Wahoo, that's golden for us, baby. Uh, but we do have the rest of the day and all night to fish. So we've got plenty of time left out here. We are running out of room in the cooler pretty quick. These have been some healthy black fins we've caught. Let's get it. That's in them there, bub. That's past the shoot. Yeah. That's what you wanted to be. There he is. All right, there All we right. go. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Not now. There he goes. All right, guys, we are hooked up. There's some good quality ones. He's coming in. Coming in hot, hot, hot. Why are you not? Come forward just a little bit. Let me get low. There Deep we go. Color. We got color. Get on up. Get on down. <laughs> <laughs> oh! No! Almost made it. Oh! All that work for that? 
Oh, hey, keep, keep going with it, Sean. Sir, it goes Richie. All the way to the front yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, dang. I gotta show that to the camera. Yeah. Got Hi, it. Guys. <laughs> just, check your gear. just so y'all know, it was not my fault this time. Take a look at that right there. That's what pulled right there, y'all. Dang it. Uh, yep. Yeah. Lost the fish at the boat. It was another nice black marks. fin. Yeah. Good. Getting re rigged. And we're going to try again. Right, put that one uh, on the side for me, Dusty. All right, y'all. After my streak of bad luck, I'm passing the rod off to Captain Ryan, see if he's got better luck. Maybe he won't lose the lures. I mean, y'all know how I am with tackle. So. Yeah. <laughs> Especially <go>. vertical jigs. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got a soft spot in my heart for vertical jigs, don't I? Yeah. All right, guys, we are pulling up to another school. I'm back to my old friend, the popper. I have not hooked up on this yet today. We're gonna give it another shot. Let's go. Let's go. All right, y'all had a little technical difficulties right there. Uh, the GoPro, as usual, froze up again. We were doubled up on the front of the boat. Actually, got another black fin in, and got a bonita for bait for later. Uh, pulling back up to him, you can see him busting right here behind me. About to throw the popper in again. I have not hooked up on the top water popper today. And that is a goal now. Hey. Make sure to set the hook. Good shot. I mean, you do you, but I'd set the hook. <laughs> Go on the other side. Of you ought to try fishing with me. Sometimes I'll fish without hooks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's done that. I was using one of Cal's vertical jigs, and I never brought it back in the boat. At some point along the line, I lost the hook. I don't know how long I was vertical jigging with nothing on it. Yeah. <laughs> you got a captain 20 mile an hour coming over here. Hey, why don't you push him down farther? We're just starting to jump, go faster. <laughs> All right, guys, we have had a lull in the action for a couple hours now, but we are finally hooked up, had a vertical. Oh, oh I cursed us. Oh, he gonna throw something. Anyways, uh, just forget everything I just said. Uh, it's a beautiful sunset out here. I wanted to show that to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I did, did it unhook, just unbutton. <laughs> and uh, I'll see y'all at the next hookup. Like well, it's been about 12 yeah. seconds since we had that break off. And uh, we were hooked up on the back of the boat. One of our trolling rigs had settled to the bottom while we were stopped. And it just got freaking smacked. I'm a free line. Guys, it has been a it has been a lull out here. And then in the last, the last minute and a half, all of a sudden, everything started popping off. Uh, I think we might have a real fish on back here. Uh, yeah, Captain Mike is hooked up on what appears to be a pretty freaking decent fish back here, y'all. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, man. All right, guys, that was uh, two heartbreaks back to back right there. That was a solid fish. They weren't budging that on the big reel. Uh, dang it um it's been an awesome day so far uh the goal was to get either our target main target was yellowfin or wahoo we've been crushing blackfin that might have been a uh, target species there we'll never know so uh we're gonna get everything set back out re-rigged and i'll see y'all then god that sunset mm -hmm. oh wow y'all gotta see the sunset this thing is, that is freaking gorgeous man this is pretty guy sitting out here over the yeah. Man, we're getting streamed on right now, boys. Uh, Cap. I got you. <laughs> it's not better. Yeah, that's a good one there, Bubba. Guys, ain't even right. I literally just handed him that rod. Let's go that way for me. Oh. He's still on. Come on. You must have thrown it in his mouth. <laughs> Guys, this is what it looks like when you can't catch fish. You just sit here and put them in the frame behind you so it looks good while you're talking to the camera. But you know, it's like I always say on my boat, there's that one person, that one person that always has a lucky hand. Yep. Oh, it's over now, y'all. But about five minutes ago, that sunset was one of the most That's amazing so. things I'd ever seen. Yes. Oh, ah. There's plenty of meat there. Did he get bit by a shark? He got, yeah. nipped. He he got, got bit. Nipped. He gave it all it had. As we got we got shark bit right there. <sighs> y'all check out this box. We're running out of room for meat in here, y'all. Good job, brother. Yeah, that was solid. All right, y'all. It is six o'clock. We have been on the water for 13 hours. We've got a four, four and a half hour run back to Florida from here. 
Uh, we were going to stay and fish tonight. No, I wanted mine. Oh, that is yours. Yeah. <laughs> we were going to stay and fish tonight, but it's turned into Shark City. We're not seeing the marks like we were, and the bites kind of shut off on the tuna. There's been a couple late bites right here at sunset, but not what we were looking for. We have a freaking ton of meat. I think we're bringing home eight or nine really healthy blackfin, blackfin tuna. Uh, I don't know. Are we cleaning? We're not cleaning fish tonight, are we? Are we? <laughs> so we're gonna get back we'll probably get back to florida waters get back to the dock i don't know 10 11 o'clock tonight something like that uh so what i will do is it's gonna be dark there's no point in putting any footage of the run back for y'all so what i'll do is i will see y'all in the kitchen i'm gonna come up with a new recipe for this tuna something different than i've done in the last couple of tuna videos and uh i'll see y'all there for the catch and cook let's go all right guys i am back at the house that was a heck of a trip y'all all in all, 275.3 miles round trip. Uh, we rolled out at five o'clock in the morning here in Pensacola, Florida, headed over to the oil rigs off the Louisiana coast. And then we got back here at 11 something last night, or that night, it was two nights ago actually. Um, man, four and a half hour ride back across the, the Gulf of Mexico in the pitch black. It was freaking cool being out there. I've never seen stars like that being that far out and man it was cold you ever been so cold that you started shivering and shaking uncontrollably that's what the last two hours of that trip back was like it was freaking miserable anyways we were exhausted got over the next day cleaned the tuna up this is what we got going on i've got them diced up i've got some of the tuna diced up into nuggets right here got some garlic sesame seed zatarain's fish fry and then some dano's original low sodium seasoning gonna season these things up I got my air fryer preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna toss them in the air fryer, do some air fried tuna nuggets. Uh, I wanna do something a little bit different than my last tuna video. If you haven't seen that one, I'll link it at the end of this video. Anyways, I'm about to start cooking. Before I do, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Captain Mike, Captain Pasco of Large Time Fishing Charters here in Pensacola. They just started up their charter business. I'll have whatever info they have available linked in the description below. Um, Captain Pasco has been doing this for 30 plus years and Captain Mike, he worked with Captain Pasco deck handing for years. So tons of experience on the boat. These guys will put you on the fish. They have a beautiful boat, great setup. Let's cook some tuna. All right, I'm doing this one handed, so bear with me here. I got my nuggets. First and foremost, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of avocado oil. Get those tossed around real good. Perfect. Now we're gonna hit them with some garlic powder. I'm gonna toss these around to make sure they get coated really well. Hit them with some sesame seeds. Not a lot, not trying to completely coat them like the last time. I'm gonna throw just a little bit of fish fry in here. And then, I said a little bit of the Dano's low sodium. You can go heavy with this stuff. That's the nice thing about it being low sodium. So I'm gonna get plenty of that in there. That's it. We're gonna get those mixed up really good. Make sure they get coated real well on all sides. Also, huge shout out to Captain Ryan of Badlands Charters out of Destin. Uh, he gave me he gave me a call literally a day and a half before, and he said, "Hey brother, you want to go on the trip of a lifetime?" Said, okay, let's go. So uh, if you're in the Destin area, I will have his information linked down below as well so you can uh, hit him up for a charter if you wanna go fishing. He's taken me out. He's probably been in uh, six, seven, eight, nine of my videos in the last year. Absolutely great guy. He's become a great friend of mine. Two great charter companies for you guys to check out if you're here on the Northern Gulf Coast and you wanna get out and fish while you're down here. Tell them Dusty Fish Company sent you. We're gonna go ahead and get them on the tray here. I did pre-oil my tray just so they wouldn't stick. Now, <laughs> There's not much online for this, so I'm not sure how long to cook them, so we're just gonna have to check them as we go. But, we got our tuna nuggets there. Let's get them in the air fryer. I'm gonna put them up top. I'm gonna put them up top, so hopefully they get a little bit of char to them, a little bit of, uh, not grill marks, but that crispier edge to them being close to the heat source like that. Anyways, I'm gonna let them run for about 10 minutes, check them, and hopefully we're eating. Let's go. All right, y'all, I just took a peek at them. I think these things are ready. Let's check them out.
All right, these look really good. Let's break one open, see what they look like. Go for the thick one here. Oh, ho, ho, I might've overdone them, but dang, they look good. Yeah, I definitely overcooked them, but they're still moist and they look delicious. And it was the risk of throwing them in the air fryer. Uh, I could probably get away with eight minutes at 400 degrees in the air fryer. If you want to try this yourself, go for eight minutes, see how it turns out. You want them to be kind of rare in the middle. These aren't. They should still be good. Let's find out. Let's let them cool off, then find out. I've learned my lesson from like eight other kitchen cooks not to go straight for the bite. Well, once again, my GoPro froze up on me again. Anyways, let's try this one more time. Uh, I did, I'm gonna take another bite straight. So, I did overcook them. They are still really moist and really good. Uh, I wanna try it with the soy sauce real quick. Mm-hmm, that did it. I wish I had some lemon too, but those done in the air fryer are freaking good. Give it a shot. Uh, I probably won't do this all the time, but like right now, I'm out of propane in my grill. Kevin sold his grill, so it's not here anymore. I have uh, no way to cook except for the oven or the air fryer, and I love using the air fryer. So I want to try that. They turned out great. Like I said, I'm going to go eight minutes for 400 next time. I'm going to eat these real quick. I appreciate y'all liking the video. I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all subscribing. Couldn't do any of this without y'all. I'm Dusty. This is the Dusty Fish Company. I'm out.